Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. We have a couple of new 323 builds to discuss. The roadmap was updated, plus I will be announcing the winner of the Game Glass giveaway. As always, a huge thank you to all of my patrons and channel members. Thank you all so much for the support, it is truly appreciated. So firstly, let us get the bad news out of the way. The roadmap was updated. Now there was a few very unfortunate but somewhat expected pushbacks, which include the item banks, personal and instanced hangars, new cargo hauling missions, and the freight elevators, which are no longer expected in the initial release of Alpha 323 at the end of April, but instead will release in a subsequent patch, being Alpha 323.1, 0 0.2, or whenever it's ready. As CIG feel that the quality of the cargo feature is not at the stage they need them to be for release, and certain features require a bit more work before they feel comfortable to fully integrate them into the game. So, as many were suggesting, these very significant features have been pushed back, but thankfully, they haven't been pushed back an entire patch release. It is only for a point patch within the 323 branch. Now, of course, we don't know exactly which point patch or what dates these will release, but what we do know is that one of them will be for the Invictus launch week towards the end of May, as well as the release of the Gold Standard Retaliator and Ship Modularity. Now, personally, of course, I am very disappointed that we won't be seeing these very exciting features release as initially intended, but I would much rather they come working, and with everything that 323 already brings, especially in just performance and stability alone, I know there will be more than enough there to keep me entertained while we wait a month or so for these new features to release. So a big shame, but it is not the end of the world at all. Now, there were two new features added to the 323 release, being the Vulcan Graphics API support, which is intended to eventually fully replace the current DirectX 11 API, and will allow for more tech features like ray tracing, plus when multi-threading is enabled, potentially increase client performance greatly as well. The other feature was the water simulation and rendering improvements, which as we saw on Inside Star Citizen, looks pretty phenomenal, and is a welcome addition to 323. Now, also, the following cards are now committed into the 323 release, being the Mobiglass rework, FPS loot screens, FPS map system, the visor and lens HUD rework, player interaction experience, EVA tier 2, star map rework, master modes, the new creatures and creature hunting missions, arena commander's engineering mode, grav royale, custom lobbies, and miner's lament flight map. So all in all, not a good news roadmap update with many things being pushed, but still thankfully those big ticket features are still coming within the 323 branch and not in a later patch, whenever that may be. Anyway, on to the latest 323 patch notes. Since my last video, there have been two new 323 patches with the EPTU now open to Wave 2 backers, which is great news, especially as once it hits Wave 2, the release to more waves and eventually live is generally far quicker than it is while it's in EVO or Wave 1. So an end of April release is looking to be very likely. So condensing both patches, new features include a minimap pass for all landing zones plus an interior map polish pass. They have added more variety to outlaw NPC loadouts. We now have IFCS gravity compensation and automatic precision mode. Not entirely sure what these are, but we will figure them out for ourselves, I'm sure. Weapon regen has been increased by 25%, meaning weapons will regenerate ammo quicker. Talking of energy weapons here, of course. They've removed the crosshair from the ship magnification setting. They've provided water visual effects wake improvements. There's been a balance pass to the master mode's spool time. They've added a G-safe on and off keybind. There's been master mode's balance to increase the max angular velocity slightly for the Scorpiuses to match their flight archetype. Plus, they have made adjustments to all Cutlass variants to also match the flight archetype after recent changes to stats. Now, in Core Tech, they have made further server, client, and Hurston Ocean performance optimizations. They have also made various physics and UI performance optimizations. Plus, they have updated the DLSS SDK to 3.7.0 and Toby to version 9.0.3.25. And finally, they have fixed many client and server crashes, fixed three Vulkan-specific GPU crashes, and three Vulkan GPU client crashes. They've also fixed a client deadlock crash, 
a back-end service crash and an NVIDIA DLSS crash as well. Plus, there have been 37 bug fixes. So they have been very busy working on many performance and stability optimizations in all areas, tweaking many new features to get them all more balanced and really pushing to get the 323 patch up to snuff, getting it ready for release. So since Wednesday, I have yet to jump in and play. So I am really looking forward to checking it out to see how it feels with these new patches. I will be playing over at twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrother this afternoon. You are all more than welcome to come and hang out. The link is below. I will just be checking out to see how it all feels. I realize there is so many features that I am yet to even try. But after my video playing 323 with everything feeling great, playing it on stream on Wednesday, it was a bit of a mess and I could barely get in and play it. So yeah, hopefully good things have come with these latest two patches. Now on to the Game Glass giveaway. Courtesy of Game Glass, they provided me with some very exciting gifts to give away to you guys with two winners getting a lifetime Game Glass pass and one very lucky winner getting the grand prize of an Origin 300i ship, an Amazon Fire 10 tablet and a Game Glass lifetime pass to use on both. Now, the two winners of the Game Glass Lifetime Pass are the real Freakaross, who said that they cannot wait to see the new clouds and light shafts, which I can confirm look phenomenal, and Rofus underscore EU, who said they are excited for the new star map and character creator. Two very much needed new features, and it is great seeing players looking far more unique to one another. And for the grand prize winner, they are called the Wartime CEO, who said they are looking forward to the new map and Mobiglass improvements, plus the FPS changes and distribution centers as well. And you, sir, win not just the Game Glass Lifetime Pass, but the Origin 300i ship and the Amazon Fire 10 tablet. Congrats to you all, and a massive thank you to Game Glass for providing those amazing prizes. If you are interested in utilizing your phone or tablet as your ship's dashboard, then be sure to follow the link in the description to Game Glass to learn more. And if you do decide to pick up either a monthly or yearly subscription, it should knock off 5%, plus provide my channel with a direct kickback, which is very much appreciated. But with that said, that is the latest information on the 323 front. If you do enjoy my videos, please do consider subscribing and helping the channel to grow. As I say, come and hang out over at twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrother. You are all more than welcome over there. We are having a blast checking out 323 when it works and just talking about everything that is to come. Hit the thumbs up if you don't mind. It does the channel a huge favor. And tick that notification bell if you'd like to be notified when my videos go live. Again, a huge thank you to my patrons and channel members. Cannot do it without you guys. So thank you so much. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.